the Californians who came here to win have uh, shown absolutely not a weak point, no let up in resolve. Still, this one might well prove to be interesting. We have got on the inside Hans Nielsen, who has been uh, Denmark's, or one of Denmark's most successful practitioners. He has two wins to his credit, six points. Egon Muller has been the best from the back by no uh, exaggeration. He's come uh, from last to second a couple of times. Alice Dremel has two third places, and Sean Moran has a win and a third to his credit. He's on the outside. So we should have some action and maybe some passing and bypassing and repassing here in heat number 10. Inside then, Nielsen, Denmark. Next to him, Muller, West Germany. Grid three, Dremel, Czechoslovakia. Outside, Sean Moran, United States. And it's a terrible trouble. Down has gone Nielsen and down two has gone Muller. And that was not a healthy one. There is Muller. And Nielsen is down still. And on his knees, Muller is back on his feet, but uh, none too happy, we can see. And Hans Nielsen is still down. You can see Hans Nielsen, the only Dane in the world final. And the Danish camp, but there's anxiety. I can see Oli Olsen tearing across the centre green. A real tangle at the start. And we've had some ragged starts. And maybe uh, that's the ultimate has happened. There's Oli Olsen looking over anxiously. Let's have a look at that start again. Now, just watch the two on the inside. As the tapes go, you can see Nielsen appear to be burning coal. Away they go, and Nielsen snakes across, and Nielsen comes right across to mid-track and picks up Egon Muller. And there was nowhere to go but in trouble for the pair of them. And they both seem to be heading for the grass there. Nielsen goes over the wrong way, very awkwardly indeed. Muller, well, he's in all kinds of trouble. Somehow manages to avoid Hans Nielsen. The bike somersaults and cartwheels. And Nielsen goes down very, very awkwardly, but it must be said it looked as it was his home fault. Well, there is Nielsen getting uh, a lift back to the pits. The referee, John Whitaker, has decided that... Uh, there was nobody clearly to blame for the incident. And all four go back in. And there is Nielsen, and it's going to be interesting to see if he's going to be fit enough to take his place in the restart. Well, Hans Nielsen, what happened with the first start where you had the crash with Egan Muller? Well, I think, uh, I think I was moving a little bit towards the outside where Muller was. And of course, I rear a bit, and as I go out, out a bit, Muller moves inwards, and we hit together, bang you were chasing the grip when you moved out. Do you think you're a little lucky not to get excluded there, Hans? Uh, no, I don't think so, because Miller was also moving in towards me, so uh, I think it, it was both falls, really. So despite that bruising fall, Hans Nielsen comes back into the restart on his number two machine. It's a Godden made by uh, Don Godden, of course, down there in Kent. He is their number one works rider, so he'll be equally at home on either machine, but it must be said that uh, he's a tough boy to pick himself up from that one. So too is Egon Muller. <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see how they uh, peel themselves off up to the first corner this time in the restart. Nielsen then on the inside, yellow and black. Next to him, Egon Muller in the blue helmet colour. In grid three, Alice Dremel in the white helmet colour. On the outside, Sean Moran in red. So America, we remind you, still a long way clear. They're on 22 points. Denmark are on 13. Here we go for the... Restart of 8.10, and again Nielsen has moved across the mid-track, and he's made a flying start. Moran's in second place, trying the outside run, and Moran just hasn't got enough steam. Almost picked up the fence himself, lets uh, dribble through. But uh, it is Nielsen in front, second, still dribble. Sean Moran, despite uh, that gut-busting effort to run the first two quarters back in third place, and really, you have to admire Hans Nielsen. He really is an uncompromising character, and many people fancy he could be a menace in the world individual final. There's a battle for second place. It is dribble in second place, and Moran under some pressure from Egon Muller. And remarkably, out of the melee, it is Muller who seems to have uh, taken the biggest knock. Certainly not as impressive as that his early rides. 
there's the leader, but the real battle is for the last point with Sean Moran under pressure from Muller, and Muller and Moran almost tangled together, you can see it for yourself. Nielsen is going to win it by a mile for Denmark, second place Dremel, and Sean Moran just holding on for the United States. There is Hans Nielsen, well, who could discount this character in the World Individual Championship to pick himself up like that from that alarming prank? and win it with such ease, well, it takes a very special kind of man and a very special kind of courage.